You will never change. Hey, that reminds me. What about that guy? About that guy. Hello. Justin is. Hi. Hi. How are Good you? Afternoon, Good afternoon. Welcome. You remember me? Yes. Uh -huh. I was here two weeks ago and yes, I bought yes. the official. Yes. I need more of that product. It was very good on me. Oh, mommy, I just sold the last one to my friend now. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't tell me that. Do you know where I'm coming from? So far away. I was so looking forward to buying this product. What do I do now? We are so sorry, ma'am. But we'll have it next week. No, no, sorry doesn't cut it. You know, I did it like yesterday. You know, what do I do? Okay. Do you have another shop where I can go and buy it? No, ma'am. So what am I supposed to do? Wait till next week? Oh, it's not fair now. I mean, look at my face. It was so good on me. You remember I had spots and everything? Yeah. What do I do now? You people shouldn't do this. You sorry. come up with a new product and then you just sell it in one shop and you always run out. We are so sorry, ma'am. This is so unfair. So, yes. I should be back next week? Yes, ma'am. And you're sure you would have it? Yes, ma'am. have it. Just know that I'm leaving your shop sad. Oh, I'm so sorry, hey, ma'am. Hold on, ma'am. Yeah. Mm. You can have it. Like, really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, so, how much is it again? Uh, Let me it's on me. Like seriously? Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Look at you. You are beautiful. Thank you, ma. You too. <laughs> you know, you're not just beautiful. You are kind as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, you see, you see my luck. Yeah. <laughs> Please let me have your number. I would like to have you as a friend, a younger friend. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, and the name is? Anita. Anita. Let me just flash you so you keep my number. You'll be my friend. My young, beautiful friend. Thank you, ma. So, you said I should be back in a week's time. Yes. I hope you'll have enough product. Yeah. Because yes. then I'll be buying not just for myself, yes. but for my little friend, Anita. You keep looking good, okay? Thank you, ma. And you see. take care of yourself. All right, see you guys. Bye, ma. Bye. 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 Susan. Yes. What's yes? What happened to yes, mommy? Mommy, please. Do not bother me this afternoon. Besides, you've already stressed my life out with those endless boring calls we're making. And I'm so upset with that. Are you trying to say I have no right to make an endless call inside my own car? Mom, 
as long as you have somebody in this car with you, this car is no longer yours alone. Besides, if any accident should happen, we both are going to die. What do you mean by that? No accident is going to happen. You know what? Get out of the car. Are, are you asking me to calm down? I thought we were going home together. No, we are not going home together. Now, get out and trek home. Why would I trek? Do you know the distance from this place to the house? You know, you are very insulting. Trekking home would be your punishment, okay? Now, get out of my car. Fine. Okay. How are you doing? And do you go to school today? I'm done with my SS2. Wow, you are not a big girl. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Where is Anita? She's in her room. I'll call her. Oh, ah. please don't think. Oh, don't even be telling me. Ah. I've been calling you. Why are you not picking my calls? I'm, I'm sorry about that. I placed my phone on silent to have a good night rest. Boom! It was bad dreams all through. Bad dreams? What is it all about? You can sit, let me tell you. Sit. How's boy? How much is this race to watch? Sorry, is it pure gold? Yeah, original. Read it for me. Okay, sir. And uh, that one over there. Okay. The two of them. The two of them. Okay, uh, excuse me? What of this? Okay. Pure so gold? Is another year. Yeah. Read it for me. Alright. And after that, you get me um, a packet of um, condom. All right, sir. So which type do you want? How many, many of it? Get me a quality one. All right, sir. Get me five solid belts. Okay. Solid belts. Justin, yes, Justin, my, just wait, my wait. boy. All these things you are packing, how do you intend to pay for all of them? <laughs> because the last time I checked, if you don't have any money, you're broke. My bad, my bad. Eh? Pardon my manners, I forgot to tell you that the Justin you are looking at now is no longer the Justin you used to know. Level don't change. I am no longer a low life, a low class like you. Looking at you, I can only see a, a poverty stricken, hungry boy. No, they're the same class again. 
Justin, mm -hmm. now me will be your guy. You they talk to like this. You don't forget when I they borrow you money. Um, on your dumb blabbering, you help me pick um that tin of milk and that one over there. It's a bad dream, oh. Don't you think that God is trying to tell you something about Justin? Something like what? Uh, maybe he's not real. Or something. No, now. You won't judge my man because of a mere dream. But most times, dreams are revelation on what is to come. This is me telling you that this has nothing to do with Justin. Yeah, I calculate everything on them. Um, give me the grand total. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so how much is the grand total? Okay, 321,500. 321,500. Yes, he said it's 321,500. Pay him. Only? Yeah, yes, sir. All right. Tell All right. Okay, so is he transfer? No, no. Excuse me. Hello, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, I am in the mall picking those things we agreed on. Okay, are you done? How much is the money? Yeah, the bill is there. Um, 600,000 Naira. 600,000 Naira. Ah, 600,000? That is too much now. Oh, come on, baby. I didn't say a million. I said 600,000 Naira only. Okay, let me transfer the money at once. No, I do not want transfer. Come to the mall with your ATM card. All right, uh, where is the address? No, I'm um, Fagro Mall V Supermarkets. Okay, babe, I'm coming. All right, sugar, please do not keep me waiting. All right, my love. I love you more. Oh, babe. Let me go and dress up. We are going somewhere. But we are not done discussing. Hey, we can talk in the car. We can talk in the car. I'm coming. Anita. I'm coming. Let me dress up. My God. Hey, hey, you stop there. I can't open that gate. Maybe I had to talk to you. So even the east they, they give me. They want she's a security officer from where they, they like me. I don't blame you. I'm going say that condition make me day here they walk. Nonsense. See me look at this case. Ah, sir, what is holding us here? We've been waiting here since how many hours here now? I don't know, man. What's happening? What is happening? Um, sales <laughs> boy. You don't have to go yourself. You don't have to get yourself all worked up. Just uh, give me a little while. My babe will soon be here to to offset the bills. You're not going to say what she has to be very fast. You don't have time. All right. <laughs> you mean your side chick will come and pay for all these stuffs? Side chick. Did I hear you well? Mm -hmm. Am I married to your sister? But I thought you are... Shut, 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 shut your mouth up. You thought again, and I thought to Ata. I said, my thought to... What are you talking? Eh? Just to um, look for a suite. Get, get a suite. Take a suite here and, and leave. I'll help you pay for it. <laughs> One never thought. So, out of all these things in this store, the only thing you ask me to take is suite. One more word from you. I will refuse to pay for the suite. And Pay for it yourself. I need the broke. No one, you know what? I don't want the sweet. I want. One. No, no, no. What a beggar! A beggar, and what choice? Now look at this boy. A beggar with choice. Nah, eh. Just, just a sign. A little patience. My woman will soon be here to clear all this. All right. 
Um, do you have them? Um, Diamond pendant, pure yeah, eyes, yes, 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 yes. pure yes. eyes. Yes, let me check it out. Get me one. Eyes on my neck, eyes on my wrists. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Eyes on my neck, eyes on my wrist. My woman paying. That one, that one over there, that one there, the one there. I want to see it. <laughs> Oh Hi, baby. baby! Oh baby! <laughs> right. Now, uh, baby, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Must you come to this place with that parrot? Eh? It is not like that. She doesn't talk anyhow. That's why we're friends. That's why we're friends. Don't you know that all the fake organic cream sellers in this town are the rumor mongers we have? Yeah? Before you know it now, my name will be on every lips that, 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 that it is my babe that buys the things I wear and the things I use. So, so what do you want me to do now? The only thing that you will do at this point to make me happy is to ask her to go. Tell her to leave this place. I don't want to see her. Is that what you want? That is the only thing that will make me happy. That's all? Yes. Good, then I will do that, okay? Yes. You're my baby, you won't come down. Oh. My standard park. Standard park. Eh? Babe, hey. you have to go. Why? Well, we came here together. Do you want to buy anything? No. Where come and go? I will call you. Anita, why? You will not understand. I will call you. Wait, no, no. No, wait, wait, wait I, go I will call you. Don't worry, I will call you. Anita, I will call wait. You. <laughs> that, um, uh, where is this? Uh, sales boy. Sales boy. Sales boy. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to see the ATM. Yeah. Bro, how much? Uh, no, I am mean, not. Nah. Six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. Uh, only. Mm -hmm. I am six hundred thousand. Hey, you. Oh, babe, I, I'm having a flat battery on this particular phone. Help me get it charged in your car. I want to wait for you. Let me wait for you. I'm charging. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Okay, uh, but sir, uh, the money is three hundred and twenty-one thousand five hundred. How are we going to do the balance? You, you, you take your own and them. Um, I give you my account details. My other, you transfer my own to me. No permission. I'll do that. Besan etamu. Besan My account details, um, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. uh, David, David, Justin. Okay, sir. Fast, fast. Not now. Do it now that I'm here. So I will do it now. Do it now that I'm here. Let me go. Um, Sandra comes back. Tell her to see me in my room. Madam, wait. Who Sandra they talk about? The same Sandra. Are you 
death or something. Well, Sandra, don't come back now. <laughs> no, it's not possible. She's actually trekking home. I don't know, tell you. Sandra, don't, I see her with my clo -clo eyes. She's there in her room. Go check. I know they lie. What? How did you get here? Welcome home, Mom. No, that is not the answer to my question. You were supposed to check. How did you get here before me? Did you take a ride? Were you giving a lift? I don't understand you. You asked me to trek, which I did. Now, you're sounding as if I'm in another trouble. You they see your mom, so I just they shout like Christmas goat. You don't even get manners. Your mama they talk to you. You they look at eyeball to eyeball. Now listen to me. Huh? I will not want to warn you to stay out of my business. See this small girl. You they want me. A whole chief security officer like me. But I say you don't get that from your village, though. See, if you do any and I'll go plug it anywhere. I will use and flog you there. Eh? Flog your body water water. You they craze. You don't get manners. No try him again, no if you don't for your mama, no do and come myself because I will scatter you. and untidy. You used these plates yesterday together with the cooking utensils and you didn't bother washing them. I mean, who did you leave them for to wash? Mom, don't you think it's bad to wake me up from sleep because of matters this trivial? <laughs> oh my God, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Else my five fingers would have been plastered on your face. Why would you slap me? I mean, Tell me where it's written in the Constitution that only children have to do the dishes. What are your hands meant for? <laughs> oh, if you wanted to slap me, if you want the dishes done, then I'll do it. You don't, you don't have to beat me. Just go and ruin myself. Up. What has sleepers got to do with? Oh.
person you asked to do the dishes. See where she's sleeping. This girl is so lazy. I sent her on an errand, all right, to wash up the plates. She now told me she wanted to come and get her slippers, and she just came here and fell asleep. What kind of nonsense is this? Does it mean you are not hearing what you are saying? Shut up from there! So it's now a crime to sleep under this roof. Sandra, how dare you talk to your mother in such a manner? Are you drunk? Who gave you alcohol in your dream? Who? I know you two are intentionally interrupting my sleep. Who told you I've not done the dishes? Oh, come on. I sent you on that errand 10 minutes ago. You've been in here for more than seven minutes. Now tell me, what time did you have to wash the dishes? Can we check? Sandra, from there, let's go. God save you. You've not done those things. You'll see what I will do to you. Sandra, from there. Always clean and neat. <laughs> How come? How did it happen? Obviously, she did her chores before going to bed. No, 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 no. There were enough dirty plates and kitchen utensils. I mean, a lot of dirty dishes. There's no way she could have finished it within that given time. It's not possible. Except, except there's something going on in the house that we know nothing about. Something like what? I don't know, so you tell me. Obviously, the little girl did her chores just very fast to go to bed. Don't, don't worry yourself about all these things. Huh? No. Come on, let's go. Huh? Let's go. Come on. Okay. Hello? There's Hello? This Hello? Her ways are strange, her actions are strange, she moves like a stranger. Here. My daughter Anita. Good afternoon, Auntie Mag. Oh, please. I've told you, cut off Auntie Mag. Call me mom. Or am I not qualified to be called your godmother? Of course. You're more like a biological mother to me. Hmm. You know, I can never think less of you. Oh, that makes me so emotional. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh, please sit, sit, sit. Thank you, Ma. Sit down. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, good to see you. Oh, look at you. You're looking awesome. Thank you, ma. <laughs> what do I offer you? Juice will be fine. Nothing stronger than juice? Not at all, ba. <laughs> right. Juice I'll get for you. Okay, ma. Thank you. I'll get you juice. <sighs> Your house is fine. Oh, thank you.
You know, the worst part of it is that my husband has lost feet. He believes that um, I've hit menopause, so I can never have a child of my own. But then the case study of Sarah in the Bible proves that what God cannot do will never exist. I'm glad your faith is firm, which is more important. Of course my faith is strong. It has to be, I don't have a choice. The only thing here is that, you know, with all the happenings around here and staying at home all alone, it's, it's a bit depressing and, you know, <sighs> I don't like that. What about your daughter, Sandra? She doesn't see me as her daughter anymore. The reason? I do not know. Sandra, I guess. Yes. And you? Anita, if you wish. Sandra, do you know it's very bad for you to eavesdrop on your elders? You think so? Don't you ever say you think so? You don't have to be rude to everyone. Oh, my bad. Good afternoon, Mom, and good afternoon, Auntie Anita. I'll be in my room. This is what she does all the time. You need to use cane on her. You need to use cane on her when needed. If not, she will grow into something else. I guess you are right. The glass left my hand. Like really? I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go. the glass of juice very well. That's why you slip off your hand. Am I a kid? I'm telling you a strange hand took away the glass from my hand and broke it before my very eyes. What is it now? Why are you laughing? Please, Please this is not funny. This is not funny at all. Like you saw a hand from nowhere collected the glass of juice from you and smashed it before your very eye and no one else saw it. You don't believe me. Believe you? How should I believe you? This looks like one of those styles by moonlight. Hi, hey God, my friend. <laughs> oh God, scared. Please, I'm hungry. You should go and get me food. I'm hungry. You know you're going to the kitchen.
My love, I'm sorry for the delay. I had to cancel the meeting that was already going on. Please forgive me. You have no reason whatsoever to keep me under this hot and scorching sun. What sort of insult is this? What sort of disregard and disrespect is this? Sorry, it was not intentional. We keep quiet. Yet. This time you don't interrupt me while I am talking. Hand the car keys over to me now. I said I'm Give sorry. Give me the car. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. This is my bag. I said I'm sorry, please. Please, can I have my bag? My bag, please. Oh, you please, my bag. My bag, please. My bag, please. Love her. Love her. Live up for her. How about you see? God was my love. Love. Are you sure? Love. Live up for her. What I'm seeing is fraud. Sister, love. You can go with me. What you want, 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 you you Love her, live up for her. Mr. Welcome. Nadia, how are you? Where is your car? My car broke down and I took it to the mechanic. I know that your car did not break down and you did not take any car to the mechanic. Justin took your car because you came late to pick him up. How did you know that? Just because you're desperate to marry. Doesn't mean you allow him to take advantage of your love for him. Nadia, I've warned you to be careful with me, right? I'm sorry. I was just concerned. But sister, Justin is not the man for you. He's a gold digger. He's not a good person. What he wants is to milk you dry and throw you away like a sucked orange. Sucked orange? Come on, Nadia. Who is teaching you all this? Don't you know it's disrespectful talking to your elder sister like this? I'm sorry. I was just expressing myself. Know your limit and your word. If you don't take time, I will send you back to the village. You and Mama will be going to farm. Village? Yes, village. But I don't want to go to the village. Then mind your business. And focus on your studies. Leave Justin and I alone. Nonsense. I'm just concerned for you. I don't want to go to the village. But this is not funny. It's very funny. You don't want to go to the village and you don't want to keep your mouth shut. Do you expect me to see my aunt falling into a pit and fold my hands without helping her? That's not what I'm saying. Besides, the aunt is not falling into the pit yet. Mm. You're just a mere mortal. Your carnal blindness will not allow you to see beyond your vision. What do you mean by that? See that dance is not it. It's bad time. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. How can I be tired? I'm not happy. I can see that you're not happy, so what is it? How can I be happy? Not 
Just tell me, how can I be happy with all the strange things happening? My childlessness. There's no, no way I can be happy. Surat, for how long will you worry about this issue? Tell me, how long? 21 years of marriage. And I have no child to show for it. My own biological child. Here you go again. I'm the man here. I'm supposed to be more worried about this whole thing. Do you know how many times my family members mocked me, even friends, over this issue? My love. It is only God that gives children. Hence, he has decided not to give us one. So be it. No. I reject that faith. I am going to have children. We will have children. How old are you now? Fifty-one years old. Fifty-one. You see, you and I know that medically you can never be able to bear a child. So, what are we talking about? Sarah. Sarah gave birth to Isaac at the age of 90. Listen. We, can, I, I mean, we can have a child of our own. And we'll name her Okay Chukukama. I my daughter. I wish she's here with us. Maybe by now she'll, she'll probably have children of our own. We have Sandra. Sandra is our daughter. Come on. Let us go to bed. Let's go. Last time I checked, you were still single. How dare you? Are you mad? If you don't want to see the animal in me, apologize to Justin now! Are you deaf? Can't you hear me? Apologize to him. My auntie said I should apologize to you. I will do it. But before that, I hope you've told her about. Um, 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 your baby, I don't think this uh, this is necessary. You know, she's just been a child. Uh, no need to be raising your voice at her just to let it slide. I believe she will do it again. 
Now I trust her. She won't do it again. Babe. My love. Are you fine? Perfectly all right. Pens you one go. Sure. Sure, babe. Yeah. Truth is like a burning candle in the dark. It can never be hidden. What do you mean by that? I'll be in my room. Nadia, come back here! What do you mean by that? Nadia! Oh, come, on, come on, come on, baby. Come on. Baby. You need some rest. You heard her? You need some rest, baby. Oh, what's going on? Oh, come on, baby. I need some rest. I'm not. 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 I'm I'm not. 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 Don't let that bother you. really disrespectful for talking to your elders that way, right? I cannot hide my feelings. But come to think of it, how did you know the plant is you under the chair? I saw it. You saw it? How? Was the car open? Did you go inside the car and see it? What did our little church teacher say about unnecessary curiosity? Did it actually kill the cat? If they said he killed the cat, then he killed the cat. Okay, but I'm still worried how you get to know about the panties under his car seat. Neil, you have to start going now, so you can go and prepare the beans your mom asked you to prepare before she comes back. That's true. Wait! How did you know? I didn't remember mentioning that to you. Because she never remember anything. Stand up. Okay. okay I'll see you later. Late again. Yeah, baby. It's simply because I I was being careful so that nobody would see me. Honestly, baby, this whole thing is getting longer than expected. Eh? The kids are asking after you, their father. They miss you. I miss them too, okay? You need to explain to them that I equally miss them. But the deal at hand requires a whole lot of patience. Do you understand? I am doing this for us, for the betterment of our children, for you, for myself, right? Before you know it now, the big bag will drop. And as soon as it drops, I, 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 I will relocate all of us abroad and we have a very beautiful life. Come mm. to think of it, mm. looking at how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. Don't you know this country does not fit you? I know, I know. I am patient, I've been patient, so I'm still patient. But honestly speaking, baby, this is over a year now. It's I, over a year. I know. It is taking time because great things, great achievements take time. We are not expecting it to just happen in a twinkle of an eye, to just happen in a day. Baby, baby, sometimes I just, I, I just, I couldn't have agreed to this whole arrangement. Too. Uh, you, you, you probably need to understand that I miss you so much. Eh? I miss sleeping in your arms. I, I, I miss waking up by your side. I miss the warmth of your skin. I miss everything about you. Uh, it's okay. Yes. It's okay, um, no problem. I, uh, don't you think you are forgetting something? No. What is it? What? Today is my birthday. Oh my God. I totally forgot. Oh, happy birthday to oh, you, my dad. Hello, babe. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. You know I love you so much. And I will do more for you. Of course, babe, I will do more for you. Don't worry, more are coming, okay? I love you too. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> what? How could you buy a car for Justin for his birthday? How is that your business? Everything that concerns you concerns me. But this one, you got it wrong. <laughs> Nadia, please. I don't have your strength this afternoon. Nadia, Justin deserves everything good in life. Because he loves me for who I am, not what I have. 
That was what you said about the man you dated before and the other one before. These men don't love you for who you are. They love you for what you have. And now you're indulging Justin. I won't have a medal in my love life. What do you know? You're still a kid. You don't know anything about relationship. So keep your opinions to yourself. I don't need it. Nadia! Nadia! Hello, Mommy Mag. Good afternoon, Ma. It's Nadia. Yes, Ma. All right, I'm coming over. Okay. The most annoying part of it all is the command in her tone when she talks to me. She's 15 going to 16. 15 going to 16? That's about Sandra's age. Just that this one is a wiser version of Sandra. Wiser version? Mama, you saying she made sense with those trash she said to me? That's not what I'm saying. But, I mean, you're an adult, and you know what you want. Exactly my point. I'm doing what I'm doing because I love Justin. I'm not stupid. No, you're not stupid. But you need to understand, she's just a child. So you can't blame her for what she's doing. That's why she should mind her business. After all, I'm not a mate. You're right. <laughs> From the look of things, it's obvious you're madly in love with Justin. Does it feel the same way towards you? Yes, Mom. Mom, Justin loves me so much. And I love him too. Mom, Justin cares for me. He is honest. Hard working and cannot stand the sight of another woman. Mom, if you meet Justin, you will love him. Don't worry. Someday I will bring him to meet you. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Why are you crying? The word mom from your voice echoes in my head. I, I wish, I can't wait, I wish that someday I would become a real mom. I can't wait to find her. 
and hold her in my arms and she goes, Mom, I love you. And I would say, I love you too, my daughter. Oh. Hi, honey. Ah, uh, sweetheart. And you're back. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. I'll uh, meet my, my young friend and my daughter, Anita. Anita, my husband. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, Anita. Hmm. Good to finally have you here. My wife has said a lot of good things about you. I'm honored, sir. You're welcome. She speaks well of you too. Oh, please, you both shouldn't talk about me like I'm not here. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Sit down. Mm. Mm. Wow. Some okay. campari for me? <laughs> I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. All right. Why not um, dish out food so that we both can dine? Uh, no, sir, I'm about going. I want to go. But the food is already there. Uh, no, mommy, next time. <laughs> All right. I hope you don't mind my not seeing you off. No, mom. Don't worry yourself. Oh, I have to go. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay, mom. Yes. Mom. <laughs> Bye. Take care, darling. All right. Bye. Okay. She might be a nice girl. Oh, she is a lucky soul. Yeah. So, to the table, then. Right? Wow. Can't wait. Anita, Anita. Anita? Yeah. What is this car for you? Yes, and um. As a birthday gift. Yeah. As a matter of fact, your colleague gave me a word that she would do more for me as long as I keep staying with her and um, as long as I keep loving her. Hey, this is Anita of a girl. She must really love you. Yes. She does love me. But. I do not love her. You are the one I love. I'm not sure anymore. I am extremely sure. Meanwhile, it is time. Time for what? Time to do that which I must do. Time to do the needful. Time. Time to do that which I must do. Time to do the needful. Time to strike her below the belt. Time to get the big bag. <sighs> Babe, I don't understand. If you keep waiting for her, and if you keep waiting until the time is right for us to dupe her to get the money, that time might never come. Do you want to kill her? Yes. Because if I do not kill her, she might wake up one day and decide to wheel everything she has to that her worthless sister, to her family or even to charity. Then, we lose out everything. Remember, Pesan Netamu, money makes the world go round. You are right. 
You are right. So, what are we going to do now? She is a big fan of trick point, jello fries, and fried chicken. So, all I have to do is get it, get it poisoned, then everything becomes history. We lift your name higher. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. And as I'm walking along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, lead me home. Nagada bushe gadi anaba, lagrada bushe gadi kimburu nana, inkada bushe katia na mata, lagraba na kateri mburu abada da 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 inkada ba 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 a lot of things will still go wrong if nothing is done. Speak to me, Father. I can hear you. He let a brush and then yank. I saw a strange little girl. Oh! I'm sorry about that. Like I was saying, I, I saw a a little strong. Oh my god! Oh god. What is wrong with me? That way, that way. Okay, please. Oh my god! You see? I cannot withstand it. A lot of evil forces. Oh my god! From your box? A lot of evil forces are in this house. I need to go. Oh my god! Hey, my friend, ah! Please! I can't breathe! The, the air freshener! The air freshener! of that nonsense that happened back there. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get what? Who did you get here? Same way you wanted to get into matters that doesn't concern you. It was you. Listen, I don't care who you are or who you represent. I command you the mighty name of Jesus! Ah! Do you know you are weak and powerless, fat and pastor? At the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and all tongue shall confess. I have said, shut up! You have been denied the authority to use that name. 
You are who you are! Patient of this! Let your name be glorified. Listen to me, you daughter of Jezebel. You have no position to tell me my place in Christ Jesus. For I am an oracle of God. A chosen generation. A royal priesthood. Why do you shut person. up? Are you holy? Now sit. Now that I have your attention, you will listen to me. What do you want? You call yourself a man of God. But at the dead of the night, while your wife is fast asleep, you were molesting your house help. You call yourself a royal priesthood. But once you mount a pulpit, all you do is lie. Claim one fake miracle you did here and there. You call yourself a chosen generation. But when you got your female junior pastor pregnant, you asked her to abort it to cover up your personality. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You were kneeling before forces you do not even know. It's useless during this year. You will go back to your church. You will kneel before all congregations and confess your sins. That will be your only punishment for getting into my way. No! I won't do that. That will ruin everything I've worked hard for. How dare you! How dare you say no to my others? Who told you you have an option here? A sinner like you? Now, are you ready to confess or not? No! I won't confess. Let the worst happen. I know people like you. Very well then. Suit yourself. This is happening to me. What is happening? Ah! Ah! My eyes! My eyes! Please restore my sight. Please, I won't come near your home again. Please. Just restore my sight, please. I beg you. Please. Ah. There is something about these girls that I can't understand. Favorite. Wow. Something delicious. Mm. Something as sumptuous as you are. <laughs> <laughs> a, a plate of jollof rice with grilled chicken. My favorite. <laughs> from checkpoint. Oh my god, baby, let me see. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Babe. What is this now? Sand and stick! Ah! What, what's going on here? I don't get this. What's this? 
this is strange. What I got for you was a, a plate of rice and chicken, and I, I was there when they dished it out. I, what's going on, baby? That person needs to be arrested. We have to go and arrest that person. My, 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 my love, I, I, I still don't get this. What, what is going on? I don't know. This, this, this is strange. Oh, I love you. Don't worry yourself. I know you wanted to surprise me. We'll go to a nice restaurant and eat because I'm very hungry. Okay? That's why let, let me let you, It's okay. Let me go and dispose this. I'll do it. Nadia. Can't you see Uncle Justin? My bad. Good afternoon, Uncle Justin. Um, hey, babe, it's fine. Let me go and get my bag and footwears, okay? I'm coming. Baby, chill, it's okay. I know you wanted to surprise me, Ba. I, 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 I... Calm down, it's fine. I understand you, I'm coming. Just hold on, wait here. I'm coming. What I'm seeing is fraud. Sister, you get out of the way. What you want, what you want, what you want, what you want, you How do I look? You are looking very gorgeous, honey. Are you just going to stand there and tell me I look gorgeous? Instead of you to walk up to me like a gentleman that you are supposed to be and lead the woman you're in love with to the car. I am coming. I'm waiting. <laughs> You guys are going out, you didn't bother to tell me. What? Oh no! What happened? Your dress is half torn. You tore it! No! It's not possible, you know. See, I have your back by my left hand and you're holding you by the right hand. I, 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 I felt a hand. Who? And who? No, it must be you! Come on! It's okay, please, please. Give me my uh, let's bag. go. There is something about this girl that I can't understand. Her ways are strange, her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. For the first time. For the first time, I was genuinely happy. For the first time, I, I forgot my sorrows. And then mysteriously, my, 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 my dress gets torn. I, I don't get it. And you, you seem not to be bothered. Sweetheart, for God's sake, there is nothing mysterious about one's dress getting torn. It is not a new thing. Huh? You probably might have gained a little weight. Are you suggesting that I... Hmm. No, 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 sir, don't go there. What I'm saying is that whatever dress you put on fits you and you look very beautiful in them. Come on. Hmm? You know, you're the best thing that 
happened to me. And you know, I live because of you. So, go up there, change into something else, and then let's go out and catch fun. Thank you. Ah, well, my door be opened for me. Thank you. On here. Will you open the gate? You want to go out? Are you crazy or something? Where's the gate key? Where is the gate key? What? Inside your stomach? Oh my god. You know, I what? don't know you to be a drunk. Are you trying to put up some facade or what? For the very last time, open that gate. Will you Alex, please, you kill him, please. It's okay, let's go back. Let me, let me kill him. No, please, please. How can I pay? Get, get, keep on to, 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 to imprison him in my own house. Honey, just calm down, all right? I, the company's there, it's just you and I. Let's go back in, please. Let's, no, no, please! Don't allow the devil to take control. Just drive back, all right? We'll, we'll be fine. It's obvious to me that you've gotten a victim of your life because of your stupidity. Next time, cockroaches like you would never be present when birds are doing round table meeting. You know I'm not a bad person. That's the reason I would indulge you. That I can't understand Her ways are strange Her actions are strange She moves like a stranger
Mama, good afternoon. You're welcome, my daughter. Good to see you. Why have you refused to come and see me, Sensei? Ah, Mama, it's work. Mm. <laughs> work. Mm. Work is so important, more than your mother's call. Ah, Mama, Bano, that's not what I meant. Mm. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Mama, I'm here now. Oh, yeah, it's eat okay. me. I'm here. It's okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I hope you have something for me. Everything is in fact. My food? Mama, who told you all these lies? That's not the point. Is that why you should spend all the money you have earned on a man who is yet to be your husband? Better still, even if he's your husband, is that why you should spend all your money so foolishly on him? I'm sure it's Nadia that has come to tell you all these lies and you believed her. You are the liar here. Nadia, my daughter, doesn't lie. You are so foolish and stupid. Mama, please. I'm not foolish. I know what I'm doing. I love Justin so much. And I'm only trying to prove it. The money we are talking about here is my money. I have the right to spend it however it pleases me. By buying a car. By buying a car for a man who is not your husband. A man who has many wives, girlfriends and even concubines. I can take any insult from you, but I can't have you insult my precious Justin. How can you be talking about a man you don't even know? Do you know Justin? No. Why are you talking about him like this now? I'm warning you for the last time. So you bought a car for a man who is not your husband. How many did you buy for your mother? Ah, your even bicycle. What have you bought for me? Mama, please. That's not the point. Don't even change the topic. What do you want to do with a car? Is car your problem? I'm warning you for the last time. When you get to that your township, better separate from that man. Stay away from that man. Because if I get to that Lagos or whatever, with my both legs, I will deal with both of you. I'll give me to the easy love. I'll give me to the young love. Live up for her. How about the easy? How dare you? Are you mad? You went to the village and told my mother that I'm spending my money on Justin. Have you gone nuts? I'm telling you, 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 i I just felt Mama would be in a better position to talk some sense into you. Are you saying I don't have sense again? Is that what you are trying to say? Oh yeah, go down on your knees. Go down on your knees! Kneel down. I said on your knees. You are going to remain here till tomorrow. What is wrong with you? What have I done to you? I'm sorry if what I said was wrong. I just thought that if you cannot listen to me, Maybe you will listen to Mama. So you're saying I'm senseless? I don't know what I'm doing up here. I don't have sense again. I don't know how to spend my money and where to spend it. What is wrong with you? What have I done to you? Nadia! Oh! Babe! Babe! What's going on here? You're back from the village already. Can you imagine? This little brat! She went to the village and told Mama that I'm spending my money on you! She did? Yes, she did! Did I lie? Can you imagine that? Can you see it? Hey, my, my, my love. Oh, Mpenzi Wangu. Mke Wangu. You know I don't like it when... when you get yourself all worked up. I do not like it when... you get worried like this. Okay? Just... let her go. Get out from here! Get out! Idiot! Now tell me, Benzi Wangu, when she told your mother that you've been spending your money, your resources on me, what was her response? 
My mom said I should break up with you. But I told her no, I can't do it. That you're my life. I can't live without you. You're my everything. I told Mama I cannot live without you. That I love you so much. That you're my everything. But I love you with my heart. I can't leave you. I love you. You know what? Just, just sit down. Let me go and freshen up. I have gist for you. I'm coming, okay? You hear? Don't go. I'm coming. I have gist for you. You will laugh, Taya. I'm coming, okay? I'll give you love. I'll give you love. Live up for her. I'll give you love. Love. Are you sure? Okay, I beg. Madam, I beg. All right, you know, I beg. I beg. Madam, I beg. I beg. I beg. I don't sack me now. If you are sick now, who can take care of my sick mother when they for village? Let me say she could die with that now. She okay. thought about that before you put up that stunt. Eh? Okay. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry. See, your salary is supposed to be for two weeks, but I decided to make it up to one month. Take it. <laughs> Okay, you never read like that. Okay, I you never read like that. No, okay. That is your salary. Go back to your duty post, pack your things, and leave this house. Okay, I you never read like that. I don't work now for four good years. What can I take on that? Listen, that's funny. Do not allow me to stand from here. Okay, see, see what you do before me. See my leg. I won't take any of them. Okay, I'm back now. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. What? What? Thank you. <laughs> You're not forgiven yet. Yes, you've been with us for four good years. And you've never acted like this before. So tell me what happened. Madam, the handwork of devil. Okay, make her tell you the truth what happened, madam. You see that day, eh? That day. Um, Musa, our, our neighbor's gate man, he celebrated his birthday yesterday. So he gave him drink. And he didn't tell him he doesn't like alcohol. So he just drank it once. Am I lying? No, I... Madam, no, no, not true. That's so why you take up. I want to forgive me, I beg. So, it's all from Musa? I think I have to go and meet his guy to warn him never to come to this place again. Uh, Dad, I don't think that is necessary. Besides, he's an adult. They didn't force him to drink it. Anyway, you know, you've never done this kind of thing before. Honey, I think we should give him um, a second chance. See, let this be the last time you do this rubbish here. Come get that from you. Thank you, sir. Madam, thank you. Madam, thank you, sir. Sir, it's not going to happen again. I promise. Can you pick the envelope for your phone? There is something about this girl that I can't understand. How well are strange, her actions are strange, she moves like a stranger. Let you, let you, let you, let you. Babe, what is it? What are you saying? Uh, well, uh, the truth of the matter is that at this point, I, I don't think I can continue with this, this relationship. I, I suggest we stay apart, stay away from each other for, for quite some time. I, I need to take a walk. What are you saying? Are you saying you want to break up with me? No, I never said such. I didn't say I was going to break up with you. All I said is, I, I had been dumped. So instead of you dumping me, I would rather, I would rather move on. Dump you? I love you so much, I can't live without you. Please don't do this to me. Don't leave me. Yeah. Just tell me whatever you want. I will do it. Listen, I truly doubt if you love me. You know why? I swear I love you. I love you with anything in me. I love you. I asked you to stay away from that. That parrot who sells fake organic creams. You refused. I equally asked you to send your kid sister back to the village. You disobeyed me. Where then is the proof of that? 
that you love me. Haba, babe. Is that why you want to end our relationship? Listen, I'm going to end everything I'm doing with Betty. I will stop calling her. She will not visit me. I will not visit her. But check it now. Nadia is my junior sister. I can't send her away. What am I going to tell mama? Please, just tell me anything, any other thing you want to do, I will do it. Please, I'm begging you, you know I love you. Don't do this to me, please. Be pleased now, whatever, I will do it, I swear. Well, well, you already know what to do to make me happy. Yes, I know what to do, I know what to do. I know what no, 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 what, 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 what sort of nonsense is that, what are you trying to do? Are you in any way trying to label me a, a promiscuous dog or what? No. I, I asked you to, to, to do the, the right thing, to do what is necessary, it's, and you have tried to, to, to it's seduce okay. me. It's okay, I know what to do. Calm down, I won't know what to do. I was a monkey. Calm down. Are you sure? Babe, Love. I just transferred 350,000. Go to shopping, do whatever you want to do, buy whatever you want. Please, I want you to be happy, please. 350,000. 350. Only. Uh, please manage it. Uh, why don't you just make it a round figure? Make it 500k so that I can manage, eh? Please manage it, manage it. Eh? it. Manage it. Manage it. Manage it. Manage it. Are you coming from? Are you deaf? Can't you talk? Come on, speak! Oh, oh what? What? You, you beat me again? That's all you do. One day you guys will beat me to death. No, 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 honey, please, please. Don't, don't, please. Please. Don't, don't, don't. It's okay. Could you imagine? It's okay. With the rage within you, you'll kill and feel torture. Please. Calm down. And you, Sandra, your behavior is totally unacceptable in the South. You've grown wings, and we're not going to sit by and allow you fly away. You had better change, else you'll make me do something I will not like. Now get out of here. You would have allowed me to beat the excess of all Goodness me! Her eh? excess is becoming alarming! We need to find a way to deal with her. You touch her now, <laughs> everything will be out there in the internet. And you know what it means. <laughs> we don't need that. We need to find a way to deal with her. Sandra.
on, mpenzi wangu. What sort of nonsense is this? Eh? Could this be love or stupidity? Which man in his right senses will be taking this kind of trash from a woman in the name of love? You know, we have feminists and they won't defend them. Many. Baby. Baby. Pezi Wangu. Why are you sweating? Huh? This is on. What is it? I have to be on my way now. No, babe, don't go. Don't go. Depends I will see you soon. No. I will see you soon, okay? No, babe, you don't have to go. You don't need to go. Go talk later, sugar. Nadia, what happened? For what? What are you doing with a knife? I'll go get the orange. Ha! What happened? Nadia knife. Justin. What happened? Hello, babe. Where are you going to? Come back. Ah, babe.
Want you dead? I don't know. How did you get him here? What sort of silly question is that? Who opened the downstairs door for you? And I ask you again, what sort of silly question is that? Where is my baby? What baby? <laughs> you want to know if she's dead? I do not understand. What are you talking about? Like you don't know assassins came here to kill her. What assassins are you talking about? I just came in here now. What happened? You really don't know, huh? I didn't offend anyone. I'm so scared. It's understandable. Come here, baby. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be fine, all right? We'll be fine. Is my baby all right? Which baby? Where is my baby? Call her! She's not inside. Take anybody's phone call now, please, for safety purposes. This is my man calling me. It doesn't matter. You can't trust anybody at this critical time. But you are here. Mom is here. Justin cannot hurt me. Mom? Yes. What do you think? Well, I, I must say that your friend is right. But then again, on the other hand, I mean, he's your man. And if, if you feel you can trust him, then you go ahead and pick the call. Mom, Justin has been part of my life. Okay. He cannot hurt me. Then answer him. Okay. Hello, babe. Mpenzi Wangu. Where are you? I'm at Mommy Maggie's place. Uh, I am in the house now. Can you come over here? I am waiting for you. No, I can't come home. I'm scared. Do you mind if I come over there? Okay, hold on. Mom? Yes. Can you come here? No. No. Well, I, I guess he can come. Let me give him the address. Hello, babe. Hold on for the address. Okay. Okay. Hello? Okay, it's number 12, Akusiano Borgo. All right. You'll find your way, right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Great. All right, I'll see ya. <laughs>
I went to the house and then Nadia told me some arm robbers came around and attacked. Two assassins came to my house. They wanted to kill me, but they shot at my gate man. It was only God that saved me. Who could have sent them? Were you having any issues with anyone? No, I don't know. Um, I think um, she needs to, or rather both of you need to go to the police and report this case. No, ma'am, I, I, I do not think that's a nice idea. Reporting to the police will not be necessary. But it is necessary. The police need to be notified in case this kind of thing happens again. Ma'am, you know how the police behave over here. Um, if you report to them, they will only end up collecting money from us and they will still not get the job done. Uh, besides, my girl is not hurt. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. Look, we have to go to the police station and make official reports. That is how it's done. No. We're not going to the police. The police can't help us in a situation like this. Uh, the men in question have already escaped. Babe, I think they are making a point. Police needs to know about this. They shot at my gate, man. It was only God that saved me. I'm so scared. I don't want to lose my life. I'm scared. Calm down, my love. I am so glad you said it was God who saved you. Not the place. And that God that saved you. He's still alive. God is not dead. He will always show up for you. As a matter of fact, I will always be there to protect you. And um, how sure are you? I am very sure. I assure you this. Those men we will not come back again. My, my love, why don't you just leave this place? You go, go we'll talk about this some other time. No, I'm scared. I can't leave here. You know what? I, um, I suggest she stays back here. It's obvious the young girl is traumatized. She needs to calm down and get herself. And on the other hand, I think I will personally take her to the police station. Yes, so she can make a report. Would you like to come along with us? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma oh, you've suddenly become a stammerer. And it's obvious you're hot and not too sure of yourself. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I got some busy schedule and um, it's a... Uh, it's a bit stuffy in here. You have a busy schedule. <laughs> Wait, Justin. You told me that the assassin will hire to kill her at the best. Then, but they failed you now. They failed you. I, I, I still do not understand what happened. To this point, I still cannot comprehend exactly what happened. The people I hired are the best hands. They are professionals. I still do not get... I'm still confused. The whole thing is sounding so mysterious to me. Imagine them telling me that they fired and missed the target and mistakenly the bullet hit the gate man on the leg. How do I explain this? I am so confused. I just came to you to, to see if you give me some ideas, some, some solutions because at this point, I do not know what I am doing anymore. Justin, this whole story is not straight. It's not straight at all. At first, you told me that the rice you poisoned turned into sand and stick on getting to her house. The assassin you hired to kill her eventually shot her gate man. 
Is there something you are not telling me? Justin, have you fallen deeply in love with her? That maybe you don't want to hurt her? Tell me my stand now. I want to know my stand. This whole thing is so confusing. Everything happened the way I narrated it to you. It's just the truth. I am confused myself. I do not, I do not even think it straight anymore. Eh? I, I, I am even suspecting that 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 Amosu she lives with might be the one manipulating the whole thing. Yes, she looks like a sorcerer. I don't used to understand her at times. Then if you think she's the one, then take her out of the picture. Mm hmm. Take her out of the picture and do the do now. Do the needful. Ah. Thank you. I would like to buy some, Gary. Okay. How much only? Uh, how much is a painter? It's two thousand. Two thousand. I want to buy three painters of Gary, but you'll give it to us for one thousand five. That way, we'll pay four thousand five hundred for the three uh, painters. You must be a very mad woman to price my goods like that. You are the mad woman here. How can you call my mother mad simply because she priced your guy with the same amount to sell it to others? She did not call me mad. Yeah, yeah. I did not call your mother a mad woman. No. Are you in my heart to know if I call your mother a mad woman or are you a witch? Hey, you. I swear with your life that you did not call my mother a mad woman. Come on, Toby. You know what? Madam, please. I did not call your mother a mad woman. Ma, please, if you don't mind, take your daughter out of my shop if you don't want to buy that from We are not leaving. Until you apologize. Okay, I don't know what you are talking about. How can I call an elderly woman a mad woman? If I call your mother a mad woman, let's try to fire me and my garden. What sort of rubbish is this? You know what? Please, madam, I am not selling again. It's okay, you but you don't have to swear. You don't have to. Please, just leave my shop. I'm not are selling you, again. Are you, are you happy now? Very much happy. Then let's leave. What kind of thing is going on for my mother? You need to have been there to see the way she was talking to the soul. How can she be saying what is in the woman's mind? Is she a mind reader or what? Exactly the same question that I asked her. There's so many strange things about that girl that just makes me feel like sending her back to the orphanage. Oh, mom. Don't say that again. Sandra is your daughter and that's fine now. You know, with all the abnormal things happening in this house, I am... Um, I just feel concerned. It keeps me the jitters. I still can't forget how that glass of juice left my hand that day after scolding her. Well, maybe I was not holding it very well. No, I think you were. Because, um... There's been a lot of encounters lately that makes me believe that there's something strange happening. Mom, why not get a good man of God to do some prayers around the house <laughs> in case of evil forces? Oh, my dear, we've done that already. The man of God we invited here actually, I don't know whether he came with a bad stomach or what. He farted all over the place. As a matter of fact, he polluted the house. <laughs> no, no, it's not funny. And a couple of months later, my husband saw him and said he was blind. Blind? Yes. And that's why we're a bit skeptical bringing in someone else. You know? We don't want to take that risk. Don't worry yourself, Mom. I will get a powerful man of God and I will tell you. That would be very nice of you. Please do. Thank you, Ma. I will be on my way. Uh -huh. Please stay a little longer. Don't worry, I will see you tomorrow. You promise? Promise. I'll be waiting. All right. See you. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Do take care. Right, oh, by you. the way, I love your outfit. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Goodness, really. You cannot stop amazing me. Listen, it is not funny. This, this is not a laughing matter. Oh my you should have seen the faces of those young men that I was talking about. Honey, please, please, please. There's nothing serious about this whole thing. I mean, I'm yet to read meanings out of this. 
come. How can small Sandra, our little daughter, order two adults to fight each other up to the extent of sustaining bruises? Eh? Now you come. Who then asked them to stop fighting? Don't <laughs> tell me. You no, are hardly around. <laughs> strange things happen here. No, 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 there's nothing strange happening here. This is just your imagination. Okay, what about the incidents of the, the, the juice, the, the juice incidents? The young lady was not holding the glass very firm. That was the something slipped out of her hand. What about the market woman? The poor girl merely guessed, and she guessed right. She got the woman there. <laughs> Come, 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 come. Okay, let me ask you. What about the remote control? The best thing for us to do here is to send her back to the orphanage. Honey, that is not an option for now. Sandra is our daughter. And, you know, this was what you signed when we adopted her from the motherless baby's home. I think the only solution is to think of a way forward here. I think I know what to do. There is something about these girls that I can't understand. Her ways are strange, her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. I'm saying that he might be the one that sends those assassins. How dare you accuse my man? I'm sorry. What I mean is, he might actually be the one that sent those assassins to kill you. You and I know you hate Justin, but lying against him is evil. Evil? Yes, evil. Hello. Oh. Victor. Good afternoon, Sister Anita. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, you are good. Victor, Alpha, what happened? Uh, how did you come on and now? Yes, um, I heard some hoodlums came to attack you, so I'm here to know their actual situation. Who told you? Nadia did. I had to. Hello, babe. My younger brother just came in. Hold on, say hi to him. Victor. Say hi to my man. Jesus! Hold on, I will call you back. A minute. Is this not Justin? You know him? Yes, I know Justin. Justin is evil. What are you saying? Justin is my man. Your man? Sister, Justin can never be your man. Finally, I have seen someone who is with me on this page. So what are you talking about? Sister, what I'm saying is that this guy is deadly. Back in the school, he killed so many students and forced so many young souls to join his deadly group. And anyone who tries to question him, he burns the person alive and nothing will happen. 
Justin is a kidnapper, he's an armed robber, he's a rapist, and Sister to Crown needs all. He is a gigolo. I don't even think his name is Justin because back then in school we knew him as Black Arrow. And that is what he is. I wonder what you are doing with him. Nadia put you up with this. Me? No! Anyways, Justin is the man I want to marry. What? Impossible. Sister, that cannot happen. Victor, you don't have any right to tell me what to do with my life or not. Then I have to tell mom about it. You don't have to bother yourself. I've told her already. But it did not change anything. Enough! I won't have two of you banter me like a kid. I want to be left alone. Now. Brother Victor, do you want food? Yes, please, I'm famished. Let's go and eat food. Okay. Hello, babe. Where are you now? I want to see you. Okay, I'm coming. Already. Oh, okay. yeah. But then the way you know it's Already working on my retirement paper, you know. As soon as that is done, I'll be fully here for the Ah, I can't wait for you to come back. So we'll start our family business. Yes, my love. <laughs> now listen, you take care of you for me. Okay? You care of yourself too. As always. But remember, do not allow Santa's SSC to upset you this much. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> but it's a tall order though. And well, I'll be on my way. Let's go and see. Let's take care of the house. I will pack your stuff already. I told Sister Anita about Justin. He's a gold digger. He's up to no good. His plan is to suck her off everything she has. But he didn't succeed in doing that. Now he wants to kill both of us and claim ownership of Sister Anita's property. You say these things with so much conviction. How are you sure that that is his exact plan? Do you want to know? Yes, I want to know. Give me your hands. What are you doing? Just concentrate. Feel the moment. How did you do that? Tell me what you saw. Justin is not only married. He has two kids. And they are planning on killing Sister Anita so that they can elope with everything she has. We need to warn Sister Anita about the impending danger. I've been doing that all my life. But she wouldn't listen. As we speak now, she's with Justin having a nice time. There is nothing we can say or do to change her. What I want you to do for me is to help me put a sonder between them. <sighs> Look at what desperation to get married has cost Sister Anita. Do you want water? Yes, please. Cool down. Be <sighs> 
He's on a mission. He's not for love at all, at all. Money ain't gonna You have put all your trust on him. I'm one of my kids and no one. My sister, I beg you. Nadia, are you home? Nadia! Nadia! Feel satisfied whenever I call you, Mom. It gladdens your heart to hear Anita call you so. How do you know that? Does that mean I'm right? That's not the answer to my question. You know, your behavior is worrisome. Sometimes I wonder what kind of a person you are. I know you don't like me. You don't show me the affection a mother shows her child. Even if you're not my biological mother, why treat me with so much disdain the way you do? Don't try to make me feel guilty of your bad and awkward behavior in this house. All I ever wanted was a child of my own. But your irregular behavior in this house has just made me think otherwise. You know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Just let me be. Really? There is something about these girls that I can't understand. Her ways are strange. Her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. Legi, 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 legi. That's the reason I need a strong spiritualist. I know of one person who can help. You do? Yes. I hope not one that would ask for so much. Something I definitely cannot afford. What we need to do is to go there and make inquiries. Then you know what is wrong with her. Anita, what do you think? Yes, mommy. Maybe we can find a solution there. Let's try. Okay, then. If my daughter says we try, then we try. We'll try. Now? Yes, now. Okay. So let me get my car. No, no, we can go with my car. Let's go. Actually.
you shall go in vain. Nothing can alter my mission. What are you doing here? My aunt is not around. No one is around. I know. That's why I came. I want us to talk. Sit. I'm okay standing. Say what you want to say and get out before my uncle comes and meets you here. <coughs> That's your lily livered uncle. He's scared of me. He's afraid of me. He fears me like I am the devil himself. I know you're the one making attempts on my life and that of my aunties. I know you sent those assassins to kill us and killed them spiritually so they won't expose you and your wife. I know you have two kids and plan to elope with them after claiming my aunt's property. Who? Who are you? I am your worst nightmare. <coughs> <coughs> you think you're married? You're so foolish that you don't even know the woman you're living with. <coughs> what? What are you talking about? As you make plans, your wife too is making plans to elope with her two children and boyfriend. That is after you must have cleaned all of my aunt's property. I already know. It is the small girl that lives with me. She is manifesting some evil possessed behavior. Yes, you're right. And you are here to confirm whether she is possessed. Exactly, exactly. That's why we're here. Sandra is not possessed of any evil spirits. But she is a spirit. Wise one. Wise one, are you saying Sandra is not a human being? So, so, so I've been living with a spirit all this while. Woman! Do not put words in my mouth, woman. For her sake, you and your husband are still alive. I, I don't understand. Can you explain, please? <laughs> you will know first, but first, let's treat it with urgency as 
the Mother Earth. Drap. to kill her at the best then but they failed you now they failed you I, I i still do not understand what happened to this point i still cannot comprehend exactly what happened the people i hired are the best hands they are professionals i still do not get about i'm still confused the whole thing is sounding so mysterious to me imagine them telling me that they fired and uh, uh, missed the target and, and mistakenly the bullet hit the great man on the leg. How do I explain this? I am so confused. I, I just came to you to, to see if you give me some ideas, some, some solutions because at this point, I do not know what I am doing anymore. Justin, this whole story is not straight. It's not straight at all. At first, you told me that the rice you poisoned turned into sand and stick on getting to her house. The assassin you hired to kill her eventually shot her gate man. Is there something you are not telling me? Justin, have you fallen deeply in love with her? That maybe you don't want to hurt her? Tell me my stand. I want to know my stand. This whole thing is so confusing. Everything happened the way I narrated it to you. It's just the truth. I am confused myself. I do not, I do not even think it's straight anymore. Yeah? I, 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 I am even suspecting that 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 Amo Sushi lives with might be the one manipulating the whole thing. Yes! She looks like a sorcerer. I don't used to understand her at times. Then if you think she's the one, then take her out of the picture. Mm-hmm. Take her out of the picture and do the do now. Do the needful. Ah. Stop. Wait, what is it? Why are you blocking my way? I will not watch you take the original documents of this house to Justin. Can't you see he's trying to shove you up everything you have? Then you will die. No, no, then what is it? Give me the documents. Is it your document? What is it? Are you the owner of this house? Give me. Is it your own? Come on. You will not leave this house. Are you the owner? Come on, keep quiet. What is it? I'm your elder sister. Nadia! What is wrong with you? What is it? Leave my way here. You are late again. Yeah, baby. It's simply because I, I was being careful so that nobody would see me. 
Honestly, baby, this whole thing is getting longer than expected. Eh? The kids are asking after you, their father. They miss you. I miss them too, okay? You need to explain to them that I equally miss them. But the deal at hand requires a whole lot of patience. Do you understand? I am doing this for us, for the betterment of our children, for you, for myself, right? Before you know it now, the big bag will drop. And as soon as it drops, I, 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 I will locate all of us abroad and we have a very beautiful life. Come to think of it, mm. looking at how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. Don't you know this country does not fit you? I know, I know. I am patient. I've been patient. So I'm still patient. But honestly speaking, baby, this is over a year now. It's I, over a year. I know. It is taking time because great things, great achievements take time. We are not expecting it to just happen in a twinkle of an eye, to just happen in a day. Baby, sometimes I just, I, I just, I couldn't have agreed to this whole arrangement. To... You, you, you only need to understand that I miss you so much. Eh? I miss sleeping in your arms. I, I, I miss waking up by your side. I miss the warmth of your skin. I miss everything about you. Uh, it's okay. Yes. It's okay, um, no problem. I, uh, don't you think you are forgetting something? No. What is it? What? Today is my birthday. Oh my God. I totally forgot. Oh, happy birthday to oh, you, my. <gasps> Human. Love is not the same. Rise. On your way home, take the woman. I beg. Walk fast, walk fast. Be fast, my friend. Come, I think I know you. Why aren't you the girl from the other day that did something to me? Right, it's you, it's you. So? What is it that you did to me the other day that made me fix my eyes on you? And it's led me to break up with my girlfriend. Are you a witch, or are you possessed, or are you in a kovu, or a cottage? I would advise you to choose wisely of your words, so it wouldn't be your last. So, because uh, I call you, they ask you questions. I mean, this is me, I be late. If I say such is about you, my kin I go fight for you. You finally found what you're looking for. Now, take it. Walk over to the tree 
and hang yourself to death until all the air in you dries out. Go. business with them. Wait and watch. Okay. How dare you? How dare you interfere to my verdict with my subject? Who made him your subject? As far as I'm concerned, darkness shall not triumph in this city. And who are you? Who I am is none of your business. You just made the greatest mistake of your life. Everything you did back there, you still have the audacity to come to my house. I've come to know who you are and what you can do. You know, you've got some nerves to come and ask for a battle. And I promise you, I will fist on your flesh and drink your blood for dinner tonight. Empty vessels make the loudest noise. I know this and I'm sure you know it too, that darkness can never prevail over light. Enough talking. Let the battle begin. Ooh. 
Is that all you can do? Let the real fight begin. No, you both should not fight each other. Who are you? And how dare you interfere in our contest? What's going on here? Why, 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 why am I cheap? What's going on? Why is my house like this? And you, who are you? This woman claims to be our mother. Who are you talking to? Which mother? Nadia, what are you doing here? Mom, this is Nadia, my junior sister. You've been talking about? Yes, ma'am. Woman, if you are sure of your claims, appear so all can see. My name is Norma, the mother of Owen Kili and Ethan Kili. I got married to the best husband in the world, your father. But I didn't conceive for years into our marriage. I came out to the forest and cried out for a child. And the gods of the forest of fruitfulness gave me the vote of grief. And gave me powers that even the gods were jealous of. While I was pregnant, calamity started to happen. And out of jealousy of my powers, the chief priest that the gods told him that the child I was carrying were cursed. And when my husband had got to hear about this, he ran back home and made me run away. And when the village warriors came home, they killed my husband, your father, for letting me run away. I ran back to the forest that day and had a hard labor because of stress. No, I don't believe this. This is our mother. And Nadia here is my junior sister. She's saying the truth. What? The woman taken after Nadia died on Thomas Clash and left Nadia and Sandra. I had to carry both of them to my house, but my husband insisted I should take them to an orphanage. Then he counts about three adopted daughters. So when I went to the orphanage, the orphanage admin refused to accept the two. I had to go with them, Nadia at home. Wait, 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 just wait a minute. So obviously, my husband and I Adopted Sandra from the same orphanage, right? Oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. You know what? You can now go back to your family because I will finally find peace in my home. All right? Understand? There's no way she would change. I really do not want her in my home anymore. I didn't just. Oh, oh, mom, I'm please sorry. Forgive her. Please forgive her. Please. I promise you, mom. I'm please. sorry. She tormented me. Please forgive her. Please. I'm sorry. Please forgive her. Please. Please. Please, please, I wanted to hear please, those words. Please, please. I'm so sorry, Mom. I promise. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. There is something I want to understand. Mama, you said that Papa rejected Sandra because he didn't want to harbor three abducted daughters. Sandra and Nadia are twins. Who is the third daughter? You. Mama, what are you talking about? Your mother abandoned you in the hand of your grandmother. What? Who died of heart attack. When the police killed your father. 
for stealing and robbing. She broke down and left you at tender age. I took you with pity and raised you because I have no child of my own. Thank you. 